Okay, so in this segment, we'll be covering like some tech news. Um, so the first one will be OnePlus and its whole news, not any product launch. So for those of you who don't care about that, skip ahead. Um, this one is uh, basically I was checking Instagram. Athar messaged me. Track in Tech made a new video. He makes this news video, which we were inspired by. Like that's why we wanted to add this news uh, monologue type thing. So in that one, he covers OnePlus being debar- uh, debarred from Geekbench, right? Yeah, Geekbench. Mm-hmm. So um, kind of surprised how they haven't been debarred from Antutu, too. But uh, basically, Geekbench is a benchmarking software. I would say software where benchmarking is basically like you know how in school like you always have marks and rank right so it's like that it's basically a ranking for this phone processor or how fast the phone is uh oneplus had been caught uh quietly modifying things or quietly modifying performance like for example i don't know if oneplus phones did this but some phones when you entered uh, geekbench or antu 2 it used to open that game game booster thing so something like that but this wasn't like um, i mean i don't know that yeah, so some phones do that, but it isn't that apparent to the outside. So when the uh, Geekbench team worked on it, they found out and OnePlus even uh, told, confirmed that they do this. So very, very bad from OnePlus's side. Very, very, very bad actually, because we, first of all, we were saying, oh, we were like giving this much excuse to OnePlus 9 saying processing power, uh, what benchmark scores are good. Okay, and then on top of that, finding out that the uh, benchmark scores aren't what it is, is a huge disappointment. So OnePlus is going, taking a really bad direction, I would say. Um, then, apart from and that... the worst part hmm. is that the excuse they gave, they were like... Um, Battery life, performance and things like that, right? Yeah, and, it, and latest some statement they issued and they were like, Current processors, uh, the current SOC, uh, this thing is too much. Performance is too much and it's not required. And that much performance is not required for the apps. So we throttle the performance for, uh, like because it's not required now. It's, it's... Same thing, uh, like when Apple also did the same thing, they got under so much heat, I can't ex- like to see a OnePlus like not getting enough coverage, which is kind of very, very, very weird. But because when... I think that's the problem. When Apple does something wrong, everyone makes memes out of it. But when, like, and OnePlus or Samsung does, Samsung, okay, so they do, but but it's lesser. But still, OnePlus, no coverage. Only tracking tech was like, and some Instagram posts were the only ones which I could know about it. So I remember, like, 5S and 6S, 5S and 6, iPhone 6, not 6S, uh, they were being slowly throttled to increase battery life because it was aging. That was 2019, 2017. But this was with, this is with, that is wrong for sure because users should have options. But this is with uh, 2021, 2020 phones, they are doing this. Like this type of changing the Antutu, I mean, uh, Geekbench scores or like throttling the phone secretly, which is which is unacceptable. So I don't know, OnePlus needs to take care of themselves and rebuild their image, never settle. They're already settling with by throttling their phones. So I think that's it for this news.